Camille from Camille I Am. I'm gonna start a new series on this channel called YouTuber Yummies, where I make a bunch of treats inspired by my favorite YouTubers. And today to start off with, I'm going to be making a cookie inspired by Simply Nail Logical. I've been watching Christine's channel for a while now, and I think she's so hilarious, and she also totally started the whole holographic trend that is so big right now. So today I'm going to be making some nail art cookies with holographic nails. But before we start the video, if you are new, hello, and make sure to subscribe down below, and also comment letting me know which YouTuber I should do next for this YouTuber Yummy series. But for now, let's get on to the video. For the sugar cookies, you will need a cup of softened butter, one cup of white sugar, one egg, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a half a teaspoon of almond extract, and I just mix them together in this same little bowl, and three cups of flour. First, you're going to add your butter into your bowl and then add your sugar and mix those two together until they are really smooth. Then you're going to add in your extracts your egg and your baking powder and mix those together for a little bit. And right here, I'm just changing my whisk attachment to my cookie paddle attachment because the dough is about to get really thick once we add the flour. Now you're just going to add the flour really slowly until it's all incorporated and you have your dough-like consistency. Once your dough is all mixed up, I just put a piece of parchment paper down with some flour on it and I dumped my cookie dough down onto the parchment paper and then I covered it with another piece of parchment paper and started rolling it out with a rolling pin. I kept rolling my dough out until it was about a fourth of an inch thick and in true Christine fashion, we're going to do some peel ever so slowly off my skin. Then just make sure to flour your cookie dough so that your cookie cutter doesn't stick. And I'm using this hand cookie cutter that I got on Amazon. I will put the link below. And just make sure to be really careful because it is really fragile. So just cut out all of your cookies with your hand cookie cutter. Now I'm peeling away my excess cookie dough and I'm going to transfer my cutout cookies to a cookie sheet. You can keep rolling out this dough and cutting out more cookies until you have used up all of your cookie dough. Then you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and bake your cookies for eight minutes. Now we're going to make the icing. So for the icing, you will need four cups of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a fourth a cup of water, two tablespoons of meringue powder, a squeezy bottle, and some food coloring. To make the frosting, I'm going to add in the meringue powder. And in this bowl, there's a fourth a cup of water, but I'm only going to add in about half of it for now. Then I'm gonna mix that together until it's a foamy texture. Once it's foamy, then you're going to add in your powdered sugar and your vanilla extract, and then mix that together until it's light and airy. The consistency that you'll want is where it runs off your spatula really slowly if you bring it up like this, and also it will make a mound on top of the other frosting and it will take a couple seconds to sink back in and be smooth. Now we're going to dye our icing a pale skin color and I'm using Wilton's Creamy Peach and Ivory to do that. And I'm just putting a little bit on the tip of a knife and mixing it in really slowly with the icing. Here's the color of icing that I made to match Christine's skin tone. And we're going to set this aside and we're going to start making our gum paste nails to go on top of our cookies. For the holographic nail decorations, you are going to need some fake nails, some edible holographic glitter, which I will put the link below on where you can get this glitter that I used, a baking paintbrush, some gum paste, some corn syrup, and plastic wrap. First, you're going to roll out your gum paste, and I'm just rolling it out with a glass because I just think that's really easy when working with gum paste. And then you're going to take your fake nails and find the size that's the best for your cookies. I ended up using all of the very smallest ones for my cookies because those are the ones that looked the most natural. 
Then you're going to take your nail and your gum paste and wrap the gum paste around the fake nail using the fake nail as a mold for your gum paste and just smooth it out as best as you can, making it look like a fake nail. Keep doing that with all of your fake nails until you have enough to cover all of your cookies. And here's the holographic glitter that I'll be using today. It's so amazing. I actually didn't know that there was any kind of holographic food. So this is a real dream come true. Once your gum paste nails have hardened for a little bit, you can just pop them off of the fake nail mold with a toothpick. Then taking some corn syrup and your baking paintbrush, just brush each nail with the corn syrup and then pour the glitter on top and dust off the excess. Here's what the nail will look like when it's all holographic. Now we are going to start frosting our cookies and I just put all of the frosting into the squeezy bottle. I like to use these squeezy bottles because they're super easy. You don't have to deal with piping bags and tips and they're really good with royal icing. So I just outline my cookie with the icing and then fill in the middle. Then I just smooth it all out with a toothpick. Then before your icing has dried, take your holographic nails and push them into each finger of your cookie. Then keep doing that to the rest of your cookies until all of them have their cute holographic nails. And of course we can't forget the glossy taco that Christine is so famous for. So I'm just brushing each nail with some corn syrup to act as our glossy taco. Here are the holographic nail art cookies that we made today inspired by Simply Nail Logical. I really love how these turned out. I'm so obsessed with the holographic and I hope that we are able to make Christine proud. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make these holographic nail art cookies. I actually really wish I could send these to Christine, but she lives in Canada and I don't think that they would get there before they got really gross and stale, but it'd be so cool if she saw this video, so make sure to share it with her. And also make sure to subscribe and like this video. Also comment letting me know which YouTuber I should make a yummy treat for next, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!